Hi, good morning. In this video, we are going to uh, create an email notification after the Zoom and we'll send them the Zoom recording within Zoom application. So at the moment, in this particular client, we are using a different CRM or email marketing tool so that what happens is that all of the registrants of the webinar, we download it, like export it, and then we upload it in the active campaign, and then we send uh, those people in uh, those registrants and attendees and absents uh, an email of the recording of the webinar. So, what we wanted is to minimum is to simplify the process and we'll be able to send the email notification after the webinar would be recorded webinar using zoom link using the zoom inside the zoom so uh, if this is something that you want to do with your webinars then here's how please watch the rest of the video and um, i hope it will help you and please subscribe to my channel and so that i can continue creating these kinds of videos for you that's quick and easy to follow so the first thing is there of course the requirements that you need to have is that you have the uh, webinar plan which is i believe if you were running a webinar then it's probably you have you already have this so uh what happens is whenever you are done with your webinar there's here like with this one so they have a previous this the go here webinars and then the previous one that you've already created um, and then click this not the edit but click the name and then once you have that scroll down and then you will have the email settings and then this are the uh, emails that you can do so you have a, <clears throat> a follow-up email to attendees and absence so for this one can edit that and then send follow-up you can set a schedule like two days after the schedule date so and then you can change the subject if you want to change this you would have to you would have to ch to change this you would have to go to the admin side account management and then webinar settings there are this invitation emails but it's really minimal where you can change it. Like with this one, these are the follow-up emails like that. So you can change that. Um, unfortunately, you cannot have the recorded uh, link here. So it's just going to be a text. So you can change that there. So for this particular one, we are okay with the webinars here. And then the previous one, so going back. Um, now this is where you can just have that so this is where you can add so you can just say here's the a recording of the webinar so where can I get the recording of the webinar so for now let's go to the recordings here and then have this the, the cloud recording which is the um, webinar <laughs> and then go to the topic and then there's this share so by default I believe like with this one let's look at this because I've already changed that uh, with this one there's a share and then go to the share settings you don't want to have a passcode and then you don't um, for this particular one they don't want to allow viewers to download and then they have there is an expiration date uh, for for this particular one it's just seven days so save and then this is the one that you wanted to copy so to test that you would want to go to incognito mode and open that and this is how it will look like so it's really nice and clean and it's really good and then um, once that done, that that's the one that we're going to add in, in our um, email um, follow-up here. Again, settings, and then you would also want to get the 
uh, send a follow-up email to the attendees and to absent. So here's the um, webinar. So there you go. I hope that helps. And if, there, um, if you have any questions, please uh, comment below. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps. And thank you for watching again. Please subscribe and like and support me. Thanks so much. Bye.